Oh, good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Amen. Good evening, everybody. Y'all come on in here. <laughs> Y'all come on in. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Kim. Hey, India. Let's go, y'all. Come on. Let's go. This is Facebook Live After Dark with your host, Dr. Walker Zen. Hey, Kim. Hey, India. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Miss Vanessa. What's up, Jenny? What's up, India? It's time for bed. <laughs> this is why this is late night chat with Dr. Sims. Hey, Donna. Hey, Dalton. Y'all come on in. Come on in. What are we talking about tonight? Good choices and bad choices. You got to make good choices. And there's a choice to make a good choice or a bad choice. The choice is yours. You know, we hear that all the time. Make better choices. But there's a process. Hey, Geraldine. Hey, Mamie. There's a process. And, and I got a little recipe tonight. Hey, Sharice. I got a recipe tonight. How do we make better choices, Dr. Sam? Hey, Brittany. Come on, India. Stay awake. Stay woke. Stay woke. <laughs> Choices creeping, stay woke. They want to catch you sleeping. We got to make choices. And today is Intentional Tuesday. And you have to intend to make better choices. All right? Y'all ready? Let's go. Miss <laughs> Vanessa. Well, good evening, everybody. I'm Dr. Walter Sims. I am your host. Of Facebook Live After Dark. And what are we going to talk about tonight? Uh, we're going to talk about choices. Hey, Brittany. Hey, Vanessa. Uh, we're going to talk about choices tonight. The three C's of life. And, and we're going to talk about choices. And we're going to talk about chances. And we're going to talk about changes. And a little bit, we're going to basically talk about, hey, uh, Nico, we're going to talk about choices. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life would never change. You know, a lot of people say, a lot of people say they won't. I want things to be different. I want to make a change. I want things to be different. Well, how are things going to be different unless you make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change? And that should be bounded by what your purpose is. Do you feel what I'm saying? So the three C's of life, choices, chances, and changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. Uh, Yasmin and I was just talking a few moments ago. Hey, Meryl. Cha-cha-cha. Hey, Meryl. How you doing? Yasmin and I was just talking and I found this quote for her because, hey, Taurus. Happy birthday again, Taurus. You got to be willing to make a choice to take a chance. A lot of people don't want to take a chance. You know, um, I, was in, uh, I was on a cruise two weeks ago and I was in Vegas a few weeks ago from that and I'm I'm loving blackjack and I'm loving roulette Vegas and gambling is built on taking chances uh the Super Bowl people bet on the Super Bowl people bet that Atlanta was going to win people bet that was New England uh that New England was going to win Vegas cleared 11 million dollars didn't do a stitch of work Vegas cleared $11 million on the Super Bowl. Talk about a return on investment because people in that vein are willing to take a chance. But are you willing to take a chance on you? Come on, Jack. Thank you. Are you willing to take a chance on you? What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about tonight making better choices. Where are you in your life? It's time for you to make some choices in your life. Where are you tonight? You got to make better choices. Do you feel me? And I want you to understand tonight that you are worth making a better choice. I want you to know some people that are on tonight, you're dealing with low self-esteem. And I need you to understand that a diamond is still a diamond if it's appreciated or not. Some of y'all in here tonight, hey Candy, some of y'all in here tonight do not feel you are worth making a better choice. 
And since we are here talking about choices tonight, the young lady that was found in a freezer in Chicago, some bad choices were made. Hey, Marlo. And consequently, uh, her life, she's no longer with us. We don't know. I don't know hardly any details, but all I know is that she's no longer here. Some bad choices were made, and it may or may not been on her part, but some bad choices were made, and now she's no longer here. This is serious. That what we're talking about tonight is life altering. You're at a crossroad. You are at a crossroad. You're at a crossroad on in your life. You're at a crossroad. So tonight, tonight you need to make a choice. You need to make a choice. Three C's of life. Hey, Robert. Hey, Robert. Two Roberts just joined. Hey, Jeremiah. Three C's. Choices, chances, and changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life will never change. A lot of people in here tonight, 11 of you in here tonight, you're sharing this. This is going to reach a lot of people. But there are so many people afraid to make the choice to take a chance for their life to change. A lot of people are stuck. And it takes a lot of wherewithal. It takes some in, internal fortitude to, to, to make a, a, a life changing choice. Okay. Hey, hey Marshall. Let me, let me. <laughs> you need to take a chance tonight. The life that we're living, I just got through talking. Yeah, hey, yes. We just got through talking about the joy of making a choice to take a chance so your life will change. Life is so exciting. Life is exciting, guys. And you have to know tonight that you are worth it. What does Fifth Harmony say? Baby, I'm worth it. What does Fifth Harmony say? Baby, I'm worth it. Come on, somebody. You're worth it. A diamond is still a diamond if it's appreciated or not. And you're talking about content. This is this is what's been on my heart. I wanted to share with you tonight. I talked to my Periscope family this morning. And for Facebook Live After Dark, here we are. We're talking tonight. Facebook Live After Dark. Um, I'm working between 10 and 11 o'clock. I'm, I'm wanting to, to find my sweet spot. And I'm thinking 1030 is, is the sweet spot because everybody is rushing in right now. Are you worth it tonight? Are you worth it tonight? Aren't you worth it? Give me hashtag, I'm worth it. Give me hashtag, I'm worth it. Hey, Amy. Hey, Tanisha. Give me hashtag, I'm worth it tonight. This is our late night ch chat tonight is making better choices. Hey, Linda, give me, give me hashtag. I'm worth it. Hashtag. I'm worth it. There you go. Y'all are listening tonight. Y'all are listening tonight. Hashtag. I'm worth it. Hashtag. I'm worth it. I'm worth making better choices. A diamond is still a diamond if it's appreciated or not. A diamond's value is not based on appreciation. And that's a play on words. A diamond's value is not based on appreciation. Whether you appreciate it or not, that diamond is still a diamond. Now, whether you or not you recognize it's a diamond is how you're going to treat it. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. And you have to carry yourself as if you're worth it. So, so Dr. Sims, Dr. Sims, what's the recipe tonight? I was sharing with Yaz my very first thought. I ha how to make better choices. Because as a coach, I want to give you a recipe. I want to give you some actions. I want to give you a, a list so that you can have something to work with and chew on. Are y'all ready? Are you ready? Get your notebooks. You ought to always have your Facebook Live After Dark notebook. You ought to have your notebook. You ready? You ought to have your notebook. What does that say? Have faith, live, laugh, love, sing praises, pray often. You ought to have your notebook. I love Ross. <laughs> I love Ross. You ought to have your notebook. Hey, Shirley. Give me hashtag I'm worth it. Are you ready? How to make better 
per, uh, choices. Full second rule. You ought to go through this gyration every time you are faced with a decision. Number one, always know you're worth a better choice. We could spend the remainder of 2018, 2017 talking about this. I have a devotional, a 21-day devotional. I declare love. It is a 21-day devotional to improve your self-esteem. There's some people in here tonight battling self-esteem. Always know you're worth a better choice. A lot of choices we make are based on we don't think we're worth a better choice. Hello, hey, Dr. Danzy. You always know you're worth a better choice. How do we make better choices? What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about tonight making better choices. Hey, Gina. Hey, Karen. What are we talking about tonight? We're talking about making better choices tonight. Okay? Because the three C's of life deal with choices, chances, and changes. You must make a choice to take a chance or your life is never going to change. Because you need to understand that you're worth making a better decision. A diamond is still a diamond if it's appreciated or not. Amen? All right? So what's our recipe tonight? Number one, always know you're worth a better choice. When you're confronted with a choice, you know in the back of your mind, I'm worth a better choice. Amen? There you go. There you go, Jack. Hey, Brittany. Does number two, does this help my wife? We can, we can take first quarter 2018 and deal with number two. Hey, Betty. Number two said, does this help my wife? This choice I have to make, does it help my wife? Okay, that begs the question, do you know your why? Do you know your why? Do you know your why? Hello? Do you know your why? Number three, can I stand the consequences? You make a choice. Can, <laughs> for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Can you stand the consequence? Because your choice, your decision has a consequence. Number four, can you afford the cost? A lot of things that we do or do not do, we can't afford it. You got to take another route. <laughs> Hello. And number five, is this a what the heck opportunity? There's some, when we were younger, we had some what the heck moment. We just said what the heck and did it anyway. And we just had to deal with the consequences later. We're a little bit older now. <laughs> is the risk too great? Is this unrecoverable? We're a little bit older now. Hey, Bernadette. We're a little bit older now. <laughs> we're a lot older now. I mean, we are facing life-altering decisions. I talk about in Living Motivated, the Beatitudes of Living a Motivated Life. And one of the Beatitudes says, happy is the man that has a made-up mind. And you ought to want to live every day with a made of my hey veronica hey dale you all want to live every day with a made of my what are we talking about tonight dr sims let me reset for those that have just joined us what are we talking about tonight on this intentional tuesday as we go into willing wednesday we have to make better choices you are at a crossroad to make a good choice or to make a bad choice and there are three c's in life choices chances and changes I didn't make this one up. I, I, Yasmin and I were talking and, and I, I typed in choices and this was one of the uh, um, uh, graphics that I found that was so perfect for tonight. Amen. 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 Hey, Jeremiah, you must make a choice to take a chance or you will never change. How many of y'all are willing to take a chance tonight for your life to be better? Give me a seven. Give me a seven if you're ready to take a chance to make your life better. Give me a seven tonight. If you're ready to take a chance to make your life better, give me a seven if you're ready to take a chance to make your life better. Give me a seven. If you're ready, give me a seven. Boom! Come on, Yasmin. Come on, Yasmin. Number seven. Hey, Devron. You, hey, it's time. It is time. Hey, Karen. It is time. 
What's the recipe, Dr. Sam? Here's the recipe. Hey, Kay, here's the recipe. Always know you're worth a better choice. You're faced, you're faced with choices every day. But you always know you're worth a better choice. There you come on, Shirley. Number seven. Number seven. Does this help my wife? I'm going to go into that a little bit in a moment. Can I stand the consequences? Can I afford the cost? Is this a what the heck opportunity? Is the, is the risk too great? Is it unrecoverable? Because we've done that in the past when we were younger. The risk is too great not to make the right choice now to live your life on purpose. And that leads me to my next thought. Why am I here? Your decision, your choices should be bounded by your purpose. Everything Jesus did led to Calvary. He stayed on task. And my challenge for you tonight is... You have to answer this fundamental question. Why am I here? What problem were you created to solve? And who are you solving the problem for? One set of people that I'm here for. Come on, somebody. Yeah, sit on it, Jack. Come on, cousin. Sit on that. Come on. One problem that I'm created to solve is to help people realize what their purpose is. I talk about it in here. Happy is a man that knows his purpose. I talk about it in just what the doctor ordered. Uh, uh, one of the tablespoons of becoming more positive is knowing your purpose. I talk about it. Hey, Ricky, I talk about it. Hey, Pastor Jim, I talk about it. And what do I hate? I want to help you walk in your purpose. You're here. God wants you to be here. And I bridge that gap. Come on, somebody. Do you feel me? Dr. Sims, I need to, I'm ready to take a chance on making my life better. Hey, Melody, I'm ready, Dr. Sims. Help me. Help me, Doc. Help me, Dr. Sims. If you're ready, join my exclusive subscription. Bit.ly slash Doc FB Live Ad. Doc Facebook Live After Dark. And I have an exclusive subscription for the people that want to take their life to the next level. I have this set for my morning crew, and I got something exclusively for my night crew. If you really ready, hey SBG, if you really ready to take your life to the next level, join my exclusive subscription. What have we talked about tonight? What have we talked about tonight? Making better choices. That's been my spiel. What questions do y'all have for me tonight? This is your time. You know I can talk. <laughs> you know I can talk. What's up, Sean? You know I can talk. <laughs> you know I can talk. What questions do you have tonight? I'm Dr. Walter Sims, and I'm your host of Facebook Live After Dark. And this is a late night chat. Give you something to chew on before you go to sleep. Amen. So what are we talking about tonight? Making better choices. You're at a crossroad. People that are watching me tonight, you're at a crossroad. Let me look at you in the eyeball. You had a crossroad. You're going to make either a good choice or a bad choice. You had a crossroad. So what are you going to do? Three C's of life. Choices, chances, and changes. If, if, let, let, let's flip it. Chance, changes, cho changes, chances, and choices. Everybody claim they want to change. Everybody uh, how do I make better choices? Hello, hello. I just went over that recipe. I just went over the recipe. I just went over the recipe. Always know you're worth the better choice. And we can just stay right there. Yeah. You Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Pastor. Let, let me ask Sean. Let me, let me share this with you, Sean. How to make better choices. And then I'm going to get with Jim. How to make better choices. You have to realize that I can't stand where I am anymore. I tried it that way. I got to do something different. Thank you, Bernadette. I, I got to do something different. I, I, I got to do something different. Thank you, Bernadette. I got to do something different. I have to do something different. 
I, I, I'm, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I don't want to get out. I don't want to move. I don't want to. But that reminds me of the four lepers in the Bible. And the four lepers said, we have leprosy. Come on, somebody. He hello. You, we got leprosy. If we stay here, we're going to die. If we do nothing, we're going to die. If you stay in that bed, you're going to die. If I don't move, nothing's going to change. I'm going to die. So I'm going to get up. We're going to get up. We're going to get up. We're going to go to the camp of the Syrians and maybe they'll have mercy on us. And what they fail to realize, God had already cleared the camp. You just got to decide to get out of bed. And, 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 and listen, listen, listen. And I just had this conversation a few moments ago. You got to change. Come on, somebody. You got to change your surroundings. You got to get a different crew. You got to start hanging out with different people that are making better choices. So, so Sean, to, to help answer your question, I need to add to the recipe. You got to change the people you hang out with. You got to change the crowd. Let me add that to the list. Let me add that to the list. Let me add that to the list, Sean. I'm going to add that to, I love live television. Change your crew. You got to change your crew. Come on. You got to change your crew. Yeah, yeah. You got to change your crew. You got to go and be around people that are taking their life to another level. You cannot hang out with the same folks. And you cannot worry about leaving people behind. Because what did, um, what did um, 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 Abraham do when God told him to sacrifice Isaac? And they went to the mountain. He said, he told his servants, me and the lad are going to worship. I'm going to leave y'all here with the asses. It's some folks you need to leave with the asses. Come on up in here, Dr. Sam. Come on, coach. It's some folks in your life you need to leave with the asses. Come on, somebody. Check out Genesis 22. Go check Genesis 22. It's some folks. It's some folks. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Thank you. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Sean. Come on, Sean. You need to leave some for. You can't take everybody with you. Again, yes, and I have this conversation all the time. There you go. If I can see what your friends are, like I can see what your fit. That's right. You got to change your crew. Yeah, there you go. That's right, Jim. Come on, Monica. Come on, you got you. You have to change your mentality, to change your mind. This is why what I do is so critical. This is why what I do is so critical, because changing your mind is not like changing a shirt, or changing a website color, or changing um, um, automobiles, or changing where you shop for clothes. Changing your mind takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, and and and, and you, especially when you are born again, and and now, and the Bible talks about renewing your mind daily. It's a daily work. Yes, and I talk about this all the time. It is a daily effort to change and renew your mind. People don't like to change their mind. We were watching. My wife and I were watching um, some of the uh, hurricane stuff yesterday, and this old lady, her son left. And she she told the reporter, oh, he got scared. He got scared. He couldn't handle it no more. And she said, I stayed here because I've been here all my life. Water up to the stairs. Water in the house. But she said, I'm more comfortable in a house flooded with water than move. Come on, somebody. There you go. That's exactly right. That's why the Bible said the just shall live by their faith. You got to go when you don't feel like going. Oh, come on, somebody. And and Yasmin said this again a few moments ago. And this is Yasmin. Yasmin said, faith is about action. Fear is about inaction. That's hashtag Yasmin. I wrote it in my notes. Right there. I wrote it in my notes. Y'all screenshot. See, faith is about action. If you're not willing to take action, nothing is going to happen for you. You feel me? There you go. There you go. That's right, Meryl. That's right, Meryl. Come on, somebody. 
That's exactly right. Come on, Marcus. Your attitude determines your yes. That's exactly right. And you don't know what's beyond your yes. Y'all, look, make a decision to say yes. Be open, be open, be open, be open, be open. Say yes. Yes, and I, I had this conversation a few days ago. Just say yes. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I listen. I listen. I put out a, a tweet today. Listening is more than just hearing. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I don't know if y'all hear me tonight. I don't know if you hear me tonight. I don't know if you hear me tonight. Why are you here? You must answer this fundamental question. Why are you here? You must answer this fundamental question. Why are you here tonight? Why are you here tonight? Come on. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's right, Betty. Come on. Come on. Believe beyond your yes to be blessed. You have to. Say yes. God just waiting on you to say yes. Come on. What problem were you created to solve? And who are you solving the problem for? I got an exclusive subscription. You're gonna get uh, you're gonna get an ebook, just what the doctor ordered. You're gonna get a weekly email with a, a video or an audio from me, and you're gonna go in a drawing um, to to get a seat inside my mastermind. Uh, where we'll come together once a month and really chew the fat and tear off some things and really build up our life. Okay? All right? All right? There you go. Thank you, Jim. I love y'all. Hey, Stacy. And so we're here tonight uh, just to, to talk about some things and to make better choices. Okay? There you go. That's right, Monica. Come on, Monica. Amen. Thank you, Jim. God is good, y'all. God is good. And I just want you to know uh, tonight, I just want you to know, I want to reiterate the fact that you are worth making better choices. Oh, you want the recipe again? Here's the recipe. Y'all take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. Always know you're worth a better choice. And this is what we've talked about tonight. Always know you're worth a better choice. Okay? Does this help my why? Can you stand the consequences? Amen. You ought to have your notebook out. Can you afford the cost? Is this a what the heck opportunity? That's right, yes. And you need to change your crew. And it, it's going to be small. It shouldn't be no bigger than your crew should have about five parts to it, five people in it. One to five. And, and you get a little bit bigger than that. I, I don't know. One to five. You ought to have five. Four strong. You ought to be four deep anyway. Amen. You ought to be four deep anyway. So we're going to come together every night. I think 1030 is our sweet spot. I think 1030 Central, 1030 p.m. Central, 1130 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Amen. Uh, Y'all pray for my friend Jim Landley. He's on his way uh, to China and spend a few days uh, in China. Amen. And I just thank God for y'all tonight. I like me some Facebook Live After Dark. And again, I'm Dr. Walter Sims, and I'm your host of Facebook Live After Dark. <laughs> I love y'all tonight. I really love y'all. I really love y'all tonight. Thank you, Jim. We love you, man. He's a great brother. He's a great brother. I love Pastor Jim. Amen. There's any more questions tonight? I hope I covered everybody's question. Hey, Tiff. I hope I covered everybody's question tonight because this is y'all's time. This is y'all's time. This is our time together. Amen. I love y'all. Y'all good people. I love y'all. I love y'all. Amen. Thank you, Yaz. I love y'all. I high five fellas. Ladies, put that job here. Mwah. I love you tonight. I love you, love you, love you. I just love you tonight. Y'all, y'all are awesome. Y'all are awesome. Meryl, we gotta catch up. Meryl, we need to talk. We gotta catch up. Cause I met Meryl on my way to um, our cruise. We went to the Bahamas two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks ago, almost three weeks ago now. And uh, she, we were on a bus ride together. Uh, the bus driver took us to the ship, and then further took her on to her hotel. Amen. I just love. I love y'all. Y'all are awesome. Remember, remember, remember. If you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you, all right? 
God is good. Amen. That's it. That's it. Be a better you. That's right, Pastor Jim. Yeah. Amen, Meryl. I mean, I know, right? I mean, yeah, I love meeting new people. I and mean, she's an artist. She's a creative. So uh, we have kindred spirits. I love Meryl. And I just love meeting new people. Amen. But I want y'all to be encouraged. We'll be back tomorrow night. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Uh, Facebook Live after dark. All right. And I hope this blessed you. I hope this served you well. I enjoy spending time with y'all. I love y'all. And um, I appreciate you listening. I hope you have your notebook and take good notes. All right. All right. God bless you. See you tomorrow night. Remember, if you stay high on life, life is going to stay high on you.